Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today, thanks to the Fancy Bear, I am going to teach you how to animate your Tinkercad characters. Of course, step one is to search Mixamo, or you can simply type Mixamo.com, and you'll notice it is part of Adobe. We can sign up for free. And I'm going to simply use my Google account. And bingo, we're in. Now Mixamo has a ton of fun animations. You can simply click on them to adjust them to fit whatever you've got going on. So I've got a reaction like they're being hit. But even more fun than this, friends, we can upload a character. So to find a character, I'm going to move to designs, and I'm trying to think of characters I made. I'm going to just type character and see if there's anything that pops up. Oh yeah, this is a fun tutorial where we actually customize the Tinkercad characters. Of course, if you want to track down these tutorials, they are pretty cool. And you can find the links in the property. Once again, it was character tutorials. Of course, I also have the fun creation by CMF Designs. This is the HL Mod Tech dude. Of course, I need to get rid of these pieces. You'll notice here I made a copy. I'm going to grab the person and I'm going to do D to drop. Now we're supposed to put our character in a T position. So I'm going to make sure this arm is straight. Then I can use control up and the arrow keys to get it where it would be on my character. Do the same thing for the other arm. Uh, it also is cool if you have fingers. I don't have fingers on this one. We're going to simply work with it as it is. Once again, control up, nudge that out. If you use my character project, there are steps to add fingers. You also have to make sure all your parts are connected. The neck, the shoulders, everything like that has to be connected. As you can see, this is all good right here. I am going to nudge this one a couple clicks forward. Because when I looked at it from the side, it just seemed like it wasn't lined up perfect. Friends, when you've got your character like that, you simply choose export as an OBJ. It does take a moment for the model to be ready for exporting, so make sure you're patient. I'm going to change my name to HLCMF and hit save and click save. At this point, friends, I'm going to choose Upload Character, and we're going to grab that OBJ file. Notice we could have done an FBX, OBJ, or ZIP. Ours is a ZIP that contains an OBJ. Of course, press Enter to load. It does take a moment to process. But bingo, here we are in the auto rigger. So we need to rotate. So this is on the x-axis, and it takes three clicks. And there is our virtual HL mod tech. I'm going to hit Next. And we need to add parts. This is where the chin is. The wrist would be out here. Notice since I don't have hands, that makes it a little trickier. The elbows would be right in here. If it's not symmetrical, you can shut off the symmetry to move one at a time. Mine were fine though, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to put symmetry back on. We need to add knees. I'm going to put my knees right there. And you need to add a groin. So we'll drop that in just like that and hit next. And it tells us we might have to wait up to two minutes for the rigging to take place. Boom! Processing upload. And just like that, we have got a virtual HL Mod Tech that we can review. I am going to confirm it and hit next. And next. Once again, same controls over here. So I'm going to pan to get them inside the middle. Let's do a rotation. So now I can spin around. <laughs> that is insane. It's like our rigid Tinkercad project is all of a sudden made of rubber. Let's switch to the jumping down. Once again, we got to reorient it. I can instantly scroll in and scroll out. I like that pan. And then we can change the angle that we're checking it out from too with rotation. We can adjust the distance. So it's a longer jump. You can play with all of these. Arm spaces can be adjusted. You could also mirror it if you wanted. 
All right, so obviously there are so many things to play with here. All right, so let's highlight some other things. Check it out. This one's called the Sword and Shield Pack. It has 49 animations in one. So this is going to take a bit longer to come in, but then it'll have a ton of animations. But that wait time does give us a lot more images to check out. I will zoom out so we can see them all. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. So there are pages of these that you can explore. You can search for the ones you want. Right now, I am going to download this so I don't lose it. I'm going to keep the FBX binary, T-Pose, 30 frames per second, and I'm going to let the keyframe reduction be none and hit download. Let's see how long this takes. That was pretty darn efficient, so now I can hit save. Let's check out our controls down here. We've got skeleton view, so that way you can see what our little person looks like. That's pretty sweet. Of course, we've seen rotate, we've seen pan, zoom. We can reset the camera, so I'll do that. And then we can also toggle follow with the camera. So now the camera will actually track them throughout the whole animation. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. I'm doing that with my scroll wheel. And now we can see all of the poses that were put in there, 48 of those. Looking at it from the back, so let's rotate it around, see if the follow with camera still stays on. Yes, it does. <laughs> that is so darn awesome. Here you can keep track of how far across it is. So there is running, walking back. That is an absolute blast. Real quick, let's switch to silly dancing. Notice this is a single pose, so it works faster. We've still got follow with camera. I can rotate so we can see it from the front. And that is absolutely terrifying. All right, I wanna play with this character on my computer. So I'm gonna use a screen capture tool to capture the animation. So that way I can make my own fun video with it. I have tutorials that I'll link above that show you how to use ClipChamp to record your screen. Of course, I'm using Camtasia, which is what I use to make all my projects every day. Of course, friends, super huge shout out to CMF for the character and the Fancy Bear for sharing Mixamo. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing the cool characters you create using this tutorial. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find my day one favorites, useful starters, and then also Tinkercad essentials. Friends, I do also want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to take a moment to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.